Hi everybody, this is God Sad for the Sad Truth. Earlier today I was uh, weighing in on my social portals regarding some of the latest realities that the world is seeing, realities that uh, are happening around the world on a near daily basis, all shaped by the exact same ideology. And yet, of course, I am exposed to some nuanced thinkers, some sophisticated thinkers, some gray area thinkers who argue that, you know, only racist bigots and only Trump supporters and only simpletons would uh, use their evolved brains that can calculate statistical regularities to arrive to conclusions that are as clear as uh, gravity. Instead, you know, we have to look at the multifaceted forces that are at play here. And so for this type of uh, mindset, I uh, posted a set of comments a few minutes ago, which I'd like to read here for you. So here we go. A very clear proof that someone is a naturally lobotomized idiot. When the data in support of a particular phenomenon are breathtakingly clear, but the individual states, quote, you know, it's all very complex and multifaceted. It is in part due to economic, social, political, spiritual, demographic, geopolitical, socioeconomic, geographic, psychosocial, biosocial, psychobiosocial, sociocultural, cultural, and other related factors. Close quotes. Well done, moron. You've explained nothing. You've stated that Lots of stuff is caused by lots of stuff. Book your ticket to Stockholm to receive your Nobel Prize for your unique contributions to brainless suicidal idiocy. People need to wake up. People need to look deeply within themselves and be honest and say that they should believe their lying eyes. If you jump from a building a hundred times and end up with the same reality, then you might be able to conclude that gravity has something to do with this recurring phenomenon. By the same token, if you see certain realities unfolding in the four corners of the world uh, from people who that come from different races, different ethnicities, different uh, cultural background, different linguistic groups, but that seem to share one common ideology, then you should be able to arrive at a reasonable conclusion as to whether that ideology is in some way linked to the realities that we're seeing. And to concatenate the words geopolitical and social and economic and biosocial and so on doesn't make you appear like a sophisticated thinker it makes you appear like a castrated, lobotomized fool. Have a good day, everybody.